Let's look at uh, part B of this problem where we're learning to use tables to find properties of states of thermodynamic substances. Let's look at another problem where we have water at a pressure of 30 megapascals, which is 300 bar and the table uh, is listed in bar. And we have a temperature of 100 degrees C. We wanna find this state's phase its specific volume, and we want to plot it on a TV diagram. Well, to find its phase, I always start in the saturation table, and I'm choosing the uh, saturation table organized by pressure, and I am looking for 300 bar. So that, that is where we are here. And as I go down, I find that the table ends at 220.9 bar. It doesn't go up to 300 bar. Well, why is that? Well, this table is giving me uh, properties for saturated liquid and for saturated vapor. Now, this left line on the vapor dome is our saturated liquid line. This line on the right side of the vapor dome is our saturated vapor line. And notice they meet at the critical point. And there's nothing beyond the critical point, both in there. So this last point in the table is the value of pressure and temperature for the critical point of water. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that. The, temper, uh, temp, the critical point temperature is 374.1 degrees C, and I'm going to plot that on a horizontal line. And the pressure of the critical point is 220.9 bar. Now remember, pressure lines go up to the right on a TV diagram, they're always horizontal under the vapor dome, but this is not under the vapor dome. It's just going to kiss the top of the vapor dome. So I'm going to draw it like this. So that just gives us a reference point now for uh, pressure and temperature. I know that the top of my vapor dome is at 374 degrees C, and the pressure line running through the critical point is 220.9 bar. Now our state is at 300 bar, and 300 bar is above 229 bar. So I'm going to draw a pressure line that goes up to the right on my TV diagram, and it's above the critical point because 300 bar is above the critical point pressure. So that's this line here, and I could have continued it further up here. But our temperature is 100 degrees C. Well, 100 degrees C is below 374, so I can draw it down here. That's just some random point. Okay. And where the pressure of 300 bar crosses the temperature line of 100 bar, that is where this state lies. All right, so that tells me that this phase is a subcooled liquid. And I have figured that out not from the table so much, but by drawing the diagram. And it, it was located here. Now what is left is for me to find the specific volume. Since we know the phase is a subcooled liquid, or as the table calls it, a compressed liquid, I will go to that particular table. And we'll go down to the little subtable here that has a pressure of 300 bar. And we'll look in the row where the temperature is 100 degrees uh, C. And we'll find in this uh, first column that uh, the specific volume is 1.0290, of course, divided by 1,000. So from the compressed liquid table, we find this specific volume at this state is 1.0290 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters per kilogram. Let's look at our next problem. Water is defined at a state of 10 megapascals, which is 100 bar, and its temperature is 485 degrees C. We want to find its phase, its specific volume, and we want to plot it on a TV diagram. So we always begin in the saturation table, and in this case I'm going to use the pressure table because I'm not likely to find a temperature of 485 degrees C in the temperature table, but I'll certainly find 100 bar in the pressure table. So here's our table. It's properties of saturated water and it's organized by pressure. And I'm going to come down and find this pressure at 100 bar 
And I see that its saturated temperature at 100 bar is 311.1 degrees C. So let's plot uh, this pressure line. We know that 100 bar is below the critical point pressure of 220.9 bar. So I'm going to plot this pressure line below 220. So that puts it down here coming through the vapor dome. So a constant pressure line on a TV diagram goes up to the right, it's horizontal under the vapor dome, and then it's up to the right. And I'm going to call that line my 100 bar line. Now our state exists where the 100 bar line crosses the temperature line, and the temperature is given at 485 degrees C. Well, 485 degrees C is above the critical point temperature of 374, so I'm going to draw it somewhere up here above the critical point. And 485 is a constant horizontal line. And where that line crosses my pressure line of 100 bar, that's where this state exists. So now we have plotted it on the TV diagram, and we know that it is a uh, superheated uh, vapor. Now we want to find its specific volume. So to find the specific volume, we're going to go to the superheat tables, and we need to find what the specific volume is at 100 bar and 485 degrees C. Now, again, we're not going to find uh, 485 degrees C easily, um, but we'll, we'll go to the table. This is the superheat tables now for water. And I'm going to go to the subtable at 100 bar. And I'm going to come down to the row where I can find 485 degrees. Well, they don't have 485 degrees. We have 480 and 520. And this is the specific volume at 480. And this is the specific volume at 520. We're going to do a linear interpolation to determine what the specific volume is at 485 degrees. And here's how we do that. We'll grab our little table values here. I've made a little subtable. At 480 degrees, the specific volume is 0.0316. At 520 degrees, the specific volume is 0.03394. And since 485 degrees lies between these two temperature values, its specific value, uh, excuse me, its specific volume would lie between these two specific volume values. Here's our interpolation formula. The specific volume at 485 degrees is equal to the specific volume at 480 degrees plus some fraction F times the quantity uh, specific volume at 520 minus specific volume at 480. Well, what is this fraction F? Well, it's just a value between 0 and 1. It tells me how far I am between these two values. A value of 0 would be at 480, and a value of 1 would be 520. And we get this as the fractional value is our, the temperature we're interested in minus the first table value, 480, divided by the second table value minus the first table value of temperature. So I've done is made a ratio of temperatures, and this comes out to be an 8 or 0.125. What that's telling me is the specific volume is one eighth of the way between 0.0316 and 0.0394. So we calculate that as this. The specific volume at 485 degrees is the specific volume at 480, 0.0316, plus this fractional value, F, 0.125, times the specific volume at 520, which is 0.03394, minus the specific volume at 480, which is 0.0316. Uh, running that through my calculator, I get a specific volume at 485 degrees is 0.0319 cubic meters per kilogram.